Hey, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Today, just for fun, we're going to work through two algorithms, um, two questions. So let's get started. And the first one is, is unique. And basically, as you might think, right, we're going to return whether or not the uh, data type we're passing in is unique. So uh, this is going to be operating on the string data type. Uh, so what we can do here is we're going to go ahead and build our function. And I'm going to call it is unique. I'm just going to take in a string. And this, just this first little condition right here, what we're going to say is we're going to say if type of string is not equal to string, uh, let's go ahead and just throw a new error. Basically say must be a string. And let's also just give it, let's just hand back the string to them, you know, exception. So let's try and run this with is unique and so you can search see it must be a string is three about us and six so throw a new error and let me let me change this let's see if I can just give it must be a string okay error object object right and then we'll say bar result and then we can say Go do error, maybe we'll let me see it like that. Error is unique. Okay. Turn new error. Result. Message. Right, so there's our. Alright. So, uh, anyways, I'm not going to mess with that. Probably have the wrong, wrong syntax for that. So let's just go back and let's just return. Must be must be a string. Let's get back in here. Must be a string. Cool. Okay, so now once we have that out of the way, what I want to go ahead and do right here is um, figure out how we can do this, right? So how do we determine whether or not a string has unique characters? So we could probably have uh, you know a bunch of different for loops going through and checking and you know, looking at every character, but that's that's kind of time consuming, you know, if you think about it. Uh, your best case is that everything is unique and sorted, but um, so we could do that. We could go ahead and sort, right? Uh, so we could try it that way. So let's go ahead and try it that way first. Uh, so what I could do is I could say for sorted string equal string dot split dot sort and we'll join it back together. And let me just constant log the sorted string we've now transformed is unique, say Theo. And let's look at what we get here. Let me run this. Okay, so now this is in alphabetical order, and that's fine. Uh, this would actually probably work. So now we can go ahead and loop through this. Say for var i equals zero, i is less. So first we have that operation, which isn't you know really that time intensive. Um, and then we can do sorted string dot length i plus plus to increment it. And um, what I want to do is, because it's already sorted, we can say if sorted i is equal to sorted i uh, plus one, then let's go ahead and return true, and let's return false. So let's go ahead and look at see if this works. I think I might still have it a little bit messed up here, so let's go ahead and see this. Sorted, it's not defined, sorry, sorted string. Okay, let's run this. Why are we getting sorted? It's not actually sorted. sorted string. Okay, let's run that again. It's false right there. Uh, so let me try this. Put a little Okay, so we're getting true, okay? So this looks good, right? And let's try something like uh, raise car, let's see if it still works for us. So that's true, that works because everything is sorted so the letters will be right next to each other. Um, so that's, that's, that'll definitely work, and that's one way that we can solve this. Um, at the other 
thing that comes to mind for me is a dictionary, right? We have a data structure that has key value pairs and we can just store in there a true or false value, right? We could also uh, build out a new string, right? Uh, and keep track of it that way and just, just sort of check on the index of, but again, I don't want to build out a brand new string just for the purpose of checking. So we're going to build out a dictionary. Okay. And what we can do, same thing. So we'll just say for var i equals zero, i is less than string dot length, i plus plus. And basically here we can check, we'll say if dictionary, we use the JavaScript has on properties so that we can just check on the object itself and not its prototype. We can say if, if it has its own property, right, we'll just say dictionary of string of i equals, uh, if it already has it, let's just say false. And I'm just going to say false. Uh, because we want to set it to false as, like, as it's not unique, but you can change this to be whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Uh, otherwise, what we're going to do here is say dictionary of string of i is equal to true, and now what I can go ahead and do is just log out what my dictionary is right here. Let me go back up. Okay. Okay, so now we have an object, right, with each one false, false, uh, true. Right, so now we have, so race car has a lot of similar letters. Let me just change it and do something easier. The O, my name, we have two O's, right? So we should see O is false because it's no longer unique, right? So that's what the false representation is. But if we just have my name with uh, all unique characters, we get that, right? And now what I can do, I'm gonna make use of some ES6 syntax, and I'm gonna call object.keys, right? Otherwise, you're gonna have to loop through your object now, maybe create another count, I'm going to do this all in one step. So actually, sorry, object.values, I'm going to call object.values, I want to call it on the dictionary that we've created. And then I want to call dot filter, and I want to filter this and grab the length. And so you could do filter, um, or I think you could even do, we could even do sum, and we could say uh, dictionary where the dictionary is equal to true, right? And let me see, why is that? So let's go ahead and look at this. So this is true, right? So, so that works. Um, dictionary where sum is equal to true. So maybe every, every is the right uh, way to do that there, true. So now if we have EO, what should we see here? False, right? Because not every character is unique. So that's two ways to do it. And again, we could also just do a for each on this object and go through it. Okay, so, um, and again, this is going to be um, O of log n time complexity. It doesn't matter that we have two for loops. What matters is that uh, this is always going to take the same amount of time. We're not nesting any for loops. Okay, so that, that's it for is unique. And now the next one I want to do is uh, is permutation. And basically, we want to check if we have two strings like this, um, rat, and maybe um, tar, we want to check, are these permutations? If we sort these in such a way, will they be similar? And this one is actually a lot simpler than I had imagined. Um, so we're just going to call it function is permutation. And it's going to take in two strings. And basically the base case is just, if string one dot length is not equal to string two dot length, then obviously they cannot be permutations. Turn strings not equal. Cool. Okay, um, so, so that's good for that. Uh, then let's just test that. Let's say console.log is permutation, and we'll say dogs and dog, right? And now if we log this, and we'll say strings are not equal. Okay, cool. Uh, otherwise, what we can do here is we're going to sort both of our strings. So I'm going to do this all in one line. I'm going to say return if string one dot split. I'm going to split it uh, basically just on each letter and that'll give us an array now of each character. I want to sort it, and this will sort it alphabetically. I want to join it back together, and no spaces. And I just want to return if these two are equal, right? So we'll say string two dot split, same thing, dot sort, dot join. So now, um, if I try this out, and we do odg, return, and we get true, okay, and maybe race car and car uh, car race and let's look at this 
And again, we're going to be true because again, we're sorting it alphabetically. So no matter how I arrange these characters, it will always be the same. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to leave a comment, um, complaint, or if you liked it or not. And thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.